Okay guys, welcome back. Speedboat Maniac 410. So we're just going to touch on some brief um, direction that somebody might want to take about full throttle insurance. And again, guys, always remember, I'm not a professional. I'm not giving you advice. I'm not giving you suggestions necessarily. I'm just telling you what little bit I know in my experience. So do your research too. Go online. Find your own insurance companies, but just so you know, guys, a high-performance boat or one that is, you know, faster than your ordinary, let's say, power boat or cruiser or those kinds of things has what they call an FTI insurance policy or full throttle, full throttle insurance, okay? It's for high-performance boats that are not just your ordinary boats, they run faster, like 80, 90, 100, two, up to 200, 220 miles an hour. Some of these uh, insurance companies will insure these high-performance boats that are super expensive. So basically what you want to do is you're going to need a survey for your boat, a current one or one that's probably six months or a year old, in order to get um, the insurance company for an agreed value of your boat in case there's a total loss. Okay, you're going to need to do that. Number two, you're going to need to pick your deductible. Obviously, the lower your deductible, the higher your premium. The higher your deductible, the lower your premium. So you have to take into consider what you want to do for your own circumstance in case something happens or an accident or there's a total loss for your boat or whatever happens that you're going to be able to come up with the deductible money to pay it first before an insurance claim can even be taken care of from there on out. Um, the layup period, okay, not in all parts of the country, obviously, or the parts of the world for that matter, there's what they call a layup period, a boat, a time of frame, a frame, uh, I'll get it right. Real easy, man. A time frame for when your boat is not being operated and not being put in the water and it's not in the water, okay, um, and where it's what they call moored at or kept at, that kind of thing. So. My boat, my insurance policy, happens to be from the layup period is from November 1st to May 1st. So obviously in the winter months of the year here in Maryland where we're at. So that makes my premium go down because I'm only operating the boat five, six, seven months out of the year. So therefore it doesn't have to be a more expensive premium. Like if you were in Florida and you were using the boat 11 and a half months out of the year, your premium would most likely be higher. The other thing is they want to know where you're going to be traveling with your boat. Like what tributaries are you going to be running in? This particular boat, mine, is the Chesapeake Bay and the tributaries that run north of it and are all, uh, obviously all attached to it and not south of a certain point in Virginia. All your declaration policy information would be in there when you agree to that with your insurance company. The only other thing that I can mention, you know, basically is if and when you want to operate your boat outside of the layup period, they will do a rider for your insurance. Case in point, let's say I want to take this boat, which I have before in my other boats that I had full throttle insurance on, and my layup period stops at November 1st. Now, again, you can pick up your lay, you could pick your layup period to begin with, but let's say your layup period stops at November 1st. And I want to take this boat to Key West to the Superboat races and the poker run down there from Miami to Key West. Well, that dang old internet, man. You just go on there and point and click. Get in there and talk about www.com. Me, you got that naked chicks on there, man. You go click, 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 click. It's real easy, man. Well, I could pick the phone up, call the full throttle insurance company and say, hey, I would like to get a rider for extra insurance for the week of November, let's say, 5th through the 12th. For, and I would like the tributaries to be taken care of or insured from Miami to Key West and the upper keys and the lower keys, that whole area. And from what I remember, like my 35-foot boat, it was only like $300 or $380 for that actual rider. You know, um, So it wasn't that much more expensive to have those riders put on. It's important because if something happens outside of your layup period, or outside of your tributaries that you're running in, just like ordinary boat insurance, it's not going to be covered. But we're talking about full throttle insurance. They're going to want to know how fast your boat goes, top speed. So you have to disclose that. And listen, 
you know, the motors and what the motors are, the outdrives. They're going to want serial numbers for the motors. They're going to want serial numbers for the outdrives and that kind of thing. So it's not just an agreed value. They do have to have some other basic information in case something happens and there's a loss. But basically, you know, there, what was that, five or six items to kind of keep track of? Click, 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 click. It's real easy, man. Uh, for whenever you're looking for what they call full throttle insurance, high performance boating insurance not your ordinary insurance through the ones you see on tv and all those major uh brand insurance companies they do insure boats but not high performance boats that have you know a higher speed to them so that's pretty much it guys i appreciate you guys coming along and look we brought our good friend doug mooney he hasn't been on the show for a good couple three months shoot for that matter i haven't been on the show for a couple three months but we appreciate you guys coming along and we're going to get back out on the water as soon as we get this empty tailpipe right here uh, put in and installed. And we'll be back out on the water. We're going to give it a shot again. And you guys will be right there with us. So if you like this video and it didn't bore you to death, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Tell a friend and share it with a friend. Comment down below and ask any questions you'd like to or rib me a little bit. I appreciate you guys coming along. As always, Speedboat Maniac coming at you guys. And to your family and to you, always, God bless.